Hi, Andreas. Welcome to Only Five Minutes. Hi, nice to be here. Andreas, your company, Otovo, is uh, operating in 13 European markets. I guess you're well positioned to provide us a nice outlook for the residential market uh, in Europe for 2023. We believe uh, that 2023 will be another year with uh, sustained high demand. Um, energy price uncertainty and high price levels in many countries will, will drive that demand. Um, in addition, um, I hope we will also see a return to uh, uh, falling equipment prices, um, probably more competitive pressures on, on the installation that would lead the cost per watt uh, of uh, installed residential systems to drop. And, uh, and that can uh, drive demand further. So um, I think we, we have a very strong 2023 in store. And which will be the hottest markets in Europe this year? Well, for us, Italy has been a very strong market. We've been been growing handsomely there since we launched in in April of 2021. Um, and uh, I think uh, we launched, you know, six new countries at the end of the year of 2022. Uh, Belgium, Netherlands, uh, Switzerland, Portugal, um, uh, the UK and Austria. So those six together are unknowns for us. Um, we are hopeful for the UK. Um, uh, it's a large population. It's rather underserved uh, on the residential solar sector. So we could have some some good pro uh, good good uh, surprises in store maybe in in the UK. Um, it's going to be excited for us to see how we can grow in the in the Benelux that have been, you know, sustaining really high uh, installation numbers for many years. Uh, so that's going to be a new market for us. Um, and I, I think everyone who's been in in solar for a while knows that uh, uh, unexpected things happen and and. Uh, uh, maybe we'll have some some uh, jokers coming out of the deck of cards here this year. Who, who knows uh, which country could maybe be the next Poland, an unexpected uh, champion of, of residential solar. You said before we will see a drop in PV system prices, but how much price will go down this year? That's hard to say because it's uh, in, in residential, you are um, less uh, influenced by the hardware price since it makes up in percentage terms um uh, less than in a in a commercial or industrial installation and certainly less than in a utility scale installation so a, a 10 percent drop in module prices uh is probably only like five percent uh, on the total price in, in residential so it doesn't translate as hard but um maybe uh, and, and so so it's it's hard to it's hard to guess uh, what i do think uh, is that uh, with a softening of construction work in the European economy, um, the demand for uh, electricians, the demand for roofers and carpenters will go down. That will free up labor force that was in short supply in 2022. Um, so uh, there, there could be a tendency that we'll see a, a drop in uh, in in the labor or soft cost component of the of the installation. So. Uh, hard to say. I'd maybe put my bet on on a ten percent uh, drop in uh, in uh, watt cost, um, but who knows? It it could be more. Your company is also offering storage solutions together with PV. How much this business may grow in the residential segment this year? Um, I think you know we're, we're going to see continued progress on this. Twenty twenty one was the year we launched storage as as part of our uh, offering, uh, and both twenty twenty one and twenty twenty two really surprised us with regards to uh, the appetite that the European homeowners have for for batteries in their homes and. Uh, uh, Germany and Italy have been leading the way with about 80% of sales uh, of PV systems, including a battery. Um, I think we'll we'll see uh, numbers climbing in that direction in Switzerland and, and Austria, um, and uh, and then I think markets that are in the in the medium range, like uh, like Portugal and um, and um, uh, Spain, um, could could go from from the 20 30 percent mark to, to maybe 50 percent. Uh, over the next uh, year, year and a half. Um, and then it's going to be interesting to see if the battery prices drop enough for markets where um, where the uh, tariff system and the pricing system is organized in a way that really doesn't incentivize for, uh, for batteries like uh, the Scandinavian countries, like uh, the Netherlands or France, uh, that are very close to zero battery penetration. Uh, perhaps things could change if batteries become a little bit cheaper and uh, people will, will recognize that this is a useful item to put in their homes and, and that could maybe change things. 
We're now seeing big interest for residential solar combined with heat pumps. Is Otovo planning to enter this business? We love heat pumps and uh, it's a fantastic technology. It's uh, really helping out for, for homeowners to cut their uh, cost. Um, it's not for us right now. Uh, we're, we're tempted by this market. It's going to grow a lot. Um, but uh, uh, our installer network doesn't uh, uh, include all, um, like it, it not in it, its entirety. What does it include uh, people who can do both uh, technologies? So, um, uh, so we're we're happy with being in in uh, PV and uh, and storage uh, now. Um, but who knows in the future? Our time is up, Andreas. Thank you for your five minutes. Yeah, thank you very much, and enjoyed uh, being on the show.